This is Richard Pearce from Build a Joomla website. One common question we get is, how do you create a blog using Joomla? Just last week I wrote a post about the best five Joomla blogging tools. In this video, I show you how to create a blog with commenting and social sharing using the Joomla core and free extensions. I'm going to have a go at doing this in under 10 minutes. Apart from this introduction, this tutorial is unscripted so it's going to be a bit rougher than normal. So as you can see on the screen, there's a timer here. It's set for 10 minutes and our time starts. Now, the first thing that you're going to need is a Joomla website. And the easiest way to get one up and running quickly is with cloudaccess.net. As you might know, cloudaccess.net are the providers of the Joomla demo site. And if you go to their site, click the free demo a little icon there, you can sign up for an account using a subdomain uh, with them and get your site set up pretty quickly. Just how quickly we're going to find out in a moment. Hopefully it's not going to soak up too much of our 10 minutes. Uh, I'm going to try and make some sense of this capture. And then click the big blue button there. Looks like that process has worked and already the confirmation email has come through to my inbox. So I need to click the link there to activate the account to confirm that this is in fact my email address. Waiting, waiting. While this is going on, I guess the site's being set up in the background. 8 minutes 40 to go. Perhaps while that's being created, what I might do is cheat a little bit and talk about the extensions that uh, I'm going to install to get this blog going. Oh, you know what? It's already going there, so I think we might as well just get started. I'm going to close this video for the moment. There's some training videos that are there and open a new tab here with some information. Uh, let's now go to the domain and see what we can see. Brilliant. Already the Joomla site uh, that we created is up and running. So that's step one complete. Uh, we've got just about eight minutes to go. So the first step after having your site set up is logging into the back end, which is at your domain name forward slash administrator. Uh, with any luck, the details that we need to log in will be in this welcome email. So the password I'm just going to copy here. Oh, actually, that's the one I want. Log into, you can see I haven't done this before. This is live. Uh, there's the username we need to get into administrator. And here is, where did I put it? Here is the password that I need. Now, if anyone unscrupulous is watching this and wants to do something dodgy with this site, don't bother. It'll be deleted by the time I put this video up. So there we are into our uh, administrator in Joomla. And the first step is, even though there's a sample content here already, I'm going to start from scratch by creating a new category and just calling it blog. And then a couple of articles. So this is my first blog post. I'm going to store this in the blog category. Uh, article must have some content. Yeah, that'd help. Uh, you need to put something in your blog post. So this is my post. See, I'm going too quickly. Uh, and actually, let's do a second one and call this my second post. Uh, with this one, I might actually we'll put that back in that blog category. And I'll write a little bit more content. This is my second post. Uh, more content here. And we're going to put a read more break in there. And I might even just quickly upload an image. Uh, where's that image? Start upload. Select the image, give it a description. 
uh, let's for fun align it to the right we've used up almost half the time and uh, let's go ahead and insert that image uh, in fact let's call it a how to catch the road runner uh, just to really easily distinguish it from the first one the next step is to create a menu I'm going to create a menu item in the top menu that already exists uh, we're going to make this a category blog you see blogging is built into Joomla uh, it's really quite simple to get this going you just need to choose the appropriate category uh, blog save and close now when I refresh the home page there's a new menu item in the top menu labeled blog and when I click through to that you can see here are the two posts there's the first one and the second one has a read more link because I use the read more feature but I know you want more even though this is a blog it's just a list of articles there's a couple of extra things uh, that we can use to spice this up and the first is commenting there's a free extension called commento by stack ideas you need to have a free account set up with them to download this and I've already logged into their account to uh, to cheat a little and save us time uh, once you log into the site, you can go to their download section, look for Comento, download the 2.5 version. And while I'm there, uh, I'm going to look at a site called Joom Shaper. This is a template and extensions developer, and they happen to have a free extension called SP Shaper. Big fun, uh, SP Share. And I'm going to download that. Uh, find the correct version 2.5 four minutes to go download it here and then go into my back end extensions extension manager and I'm going to go ahead and upload those two extensions commento first and you can see it's not taking too long to upload and SP share then I'll go to components commento a couple of settings we want to get going here uh, let me think I don't think there's anything in the actual settings we need we need to uh, integrate this with Joomla and I'm going to say I want comments just in the blog category uh, I also wanted to change Joomla's read more, yes. Uh, save and close. Less than three minutes to go. We're getting close. Going to set the ACL. You wouldn't normally do this, but I'm going to say that the public, just for the sake of this example, can read everything and add comments. Let's have a look at our front end now. And you can see underneath this article is a nice comments box. And if you type something into it, and agree to the terms and conditions you can submit that comment and you can see that this now is appearing underneath the article let's now get the social sharing feature working this is a plugin you need to look for content SP share enable it uh, tell it which categories you want it to work on I'm just going to use it on the blog I'm also going to put these images after the content and change it to box count save and close refresh and you can see if you scroll down the social sharing buttons now appear this is kind of a problem that's not really where I want them I'd rather the buttons to appear just underneath the article you can with this plugin actually have them appear right underneath the title or above the title I think uh, but I'm going to go back to plugin manager enable ordering and then change SP share uh, to or actually change commento to one and let's see has that worked yeah I think so let me refresh that page and now you can see that I have my headline content social sharing and comments 
all within 10 minutes. So there's a few more things we could talk about in the time remaining. But I think I've proved the point there that you can indeed get a Joomla website set up, create a blog with a couple of posts, and include commenting and social sharing in under 10 minutes. There are a couple more things though that I'll go through uh, just for the sake of interest. Uh, the first thing I guess is SEO. These days SEO works reasonably well out of the box with Joomla. There's a few more things that uh, you can do to improve that. Uh, for example, you can improve the actual uh, URL. There we go, our time's up. Uh, you can improve the, the URL structure uh, slightly with a free uh, search engine friendly extension, but it's not bad out of the box. The page title, which if you can see at the top of the browser there, how to catch the roadrunner, uh, matches the article title, and that's normally what you'd want. Uh, if we go back to the blog summary page, you can see that the read more text here is quite sensible. Uh, it again matches the title of the blog. Uh, I could override that though. Uh, for example, if I go back to Article Manager, uh, let's have a look at just the blog category. Uh, there's an option here under Article Options where you can change the Read More text uh, to, well, I don't know, And then when you refresh that, uh, you can see, oh, there's another option I've got to turn off actually, it says Coyote wins. Uh, what we've got to do there also is, uh, in article options, you need to hide the title. So you can actually specify your read more text here. Uh, so that's again an SEO feature that's built into Joomla. And um, you can add a meta description in the article as well, uh, so that with any luck, the search engines will actually display as your summary uh, the text that you enter in here. So that's all included as well. And the other comment just to make about Joomla blogging is that Joomla itself, without any extensions, provides quite a lot of blog customization. You can specify for this featured page how many uh, blog posts appear on each page, whether or not this excerpt text is displayed and whether or not that's displayed within the post itself. You could, I could have set it up, for example, that just more content here and the image appears. Uh, the sort order, uh, by default blogs display the most recent post at the top and that generally makes sense, but there might be occasions where you'd like it in alphabetical order or uh, in order of author name. Uh, these things like the category name, you can turn them off if you don't want that quite easily. Uh, same with the author name and the date and how many hits it has. All of these are features that are very easy to customise just within the Joomla core. Uh, unlike other popular blogging platforms, you do actually have quite a lot of customization available with Joomla without having to mess about too much. So that's how you create a blog with commenting and social sharing. As you can see, apart from your normal hosting costs, it doesn't have to cost a cent to create a Joomla blog. But there are third-party extensions available, such as EasyBlog, which we use on our website, that do provide an even better experience. For more great Joomla tutorials like this one, head to www.buildajoomlawebsite.com.